Come to think of it, Christian, the sight is even appalling and a huge disgrace, especially given that Yaoundé is not only the seat of the state institutions, but one of the major gateways into this economic powerhouse in the Central African called Cameroon. Yaoundé indeed is shining bright in the domain of dilapidated road networks. Across the seven subdivisions that make up the Mfundi division, none is enviable anymore. Major roads, just like secondary roads in the town, are all in advanced state of degradation. Take the Madagascar, Sitevet, Oyomaban, Colbison roads, or again, the Central Post Office, Mvogada, and Mombomimboman roads, once the pride of the capital city, but which all have since slumped into utter disrepair. The mention of these roads to many a city dweller today sounds like perdition, and the road users have been pouring out their frustration with this deplorable state of roads and are calling on the powers that be to take their responsibilities. Alphonse Abongwa Acho paints the picture of Yaoundé, a capital city with a road network that translates nothing short of an embarrassment and utter humiliation. If road networks could speak out and express their disappointment at those charged with catering for them, then the roads of Yaoundé would have turned their backs on users already. Let's have a glimpse of the bad and the ugly. Take Yaoundé Cameroon to a contest of scandalous urban road networks of African capital cities. The trophy plus the golden boot would most likely return to the country now fondly referred to as the continent. This is Batan Longkak in the Yaoundé 1 subdivision. It is a major avenue leading to Etudi, Omnispoor, Bastos and the city centre. The wear and tear of this road over time sends across pangs of vexation down the spines of users. The nature of roads in Yaoundé right now are very, very bad. Like now, I'm just from having a tire puncture due to the holes and, and, and the bad states of the road. So I'm just from uh, a, a tire repairer who is just from uh, having arranged my tire. Vulcanizers frown at the degrading road network despite the gains they make from the depletion. This is a road that has been for a long time, it has already lasted. The length of this is really bizarre, and we have to go back to it now, we have to go back to the road. And in the meantime, when it rains, the torrent doesn't make it to the road. It abhims the trou. There are cars that lose their cars, the people who lose their cars. Bitter anecdotes around this area are many, but get this one. Il y a un monsieur qui est arrivé chez moi un soir. Il est arrivé, bon, heureusement, il devait même percer la tête sous son volant, puisque parce qu'il est tombé dans le trou. About a kilometer away from Batan Longkak is the famous Monte Eligedjoa. This slope leads to the Eligedjoa market, the second largest in the Yaoundé 1 subdivision after that of Etudi. The stretch is also blighted with the impact of age. Its own rehabilitation story is a mixture of suspicion and provocation. Parfois, on demande d'arrêter la route. On vient seulement dans la nuit. On reste seulement dans la nuit. Le matin, on vient, on voit s'arranger. Après une semaine, après six mois, sept mois, ça fait la même chose. Donc vraiment, c'est un peu compliqué. Donc on veut vraiment le bon travail. Ça cause tellement des embouteillages. S'il y a un petit pluie là, ça crée vraiment une nation ici là. Donc les voitures ne montent pas, ça ne descend pas. Driving to from the multi-purpose sports complex in Yaoundé 1 through Briquetery and Chinga in the Yaoundé 2 subdivision takes much thinking. You should have a mastery of where the steering wheel should not dare pass. We have seen the bad, but we've not yet seen the ugly in the city of Yaoundé in terms of road network. I want to invite you to see one of the jungles in terms of road networks here in the city of Yaoundé. Disheartening, isn't it? We are precisely at a mombos seated in the heart of the Yaoundé 4 municipality. 
Many around here say cruising through this stretch is likened to a journey through hell. You need some courage and tenacity. Et mon bain est dans le centre-ville. Hein. Ce n'est pas, pas un quartier qu'on dit qu'on va prendre pour aller en Kouaban. C'est dans le centre-ville. Et tous ces grands messieurs-là passent par ici pour se rendre chez eux. Mais c'est toujours comme ça, tous les jours. It began with a pothole, then metamorphosed into this ditch due to outright negligence. Ce n'est pas Biya qui viendra arranger la route là. Le ministère des Travaux peut prendre les choses en main. Que ce soit le ministère des Travaux ou le ministère de la Ville, ils peuvent prendre les choses en main. Pour mettre les Camerounais à l'aise, les gens vont seulement chercher à la dernière nous quand les Camerounais vont dire que non, on en a assez, on va marcher. C'est ça que les gens attendent. Et ce n'est pas bien. Ce n'est pas bien. Ce n'est pas bien. Les gens font ça exprès pour mettre les Camerounais en difficulté. Ce n'est pas, pas normal. Et là, il y a à ranger. Vous pensez que Biya seul peut faire tout ce travail-là Il a nommé les gens à ses postes-là pour, pour l'aider à faire à avancer le Cameroun. Et regardez, qu'est-ce qu'il faut Il est even on record that this road got an overnight retouch during the visit of an august guest from Italy about a decade ago. He was built just one night. I said one night. During the, this night, we were sleeping because we had uh, official events, arrival of uh, the Duffer or the, the Italian Prime Minister. Uh, she, was, she came here to, to visit um, let, let me say one special center of uh, handicapé, something like that. Uh -huh. So they, they decide, the government decide to, to build it, that, that road one night. I say one night, it is not a first, first road. Drivers who transport tourists across this part of town have had their own fair share of the embarrassment. We just transported the two semaines. Arrivé là, il y a eu des problèmes. Il avait tellement plu, tellement même plu. Je ne peux pas traverser. Et là, elle est nette à l'endroit où il fallait qu'on doit arriver, mais il y avait la mardeau. Il était obligé de le faire descendre avant. Il ne m'a pas insulté, mais elle a avancé des paroles un peu très compliquées. Au fond, je me sens touché. Parce que ce n'était même pas un Camerounais, c'était quoi un Arabe. Elle a avancé des paroles où j'ai été touché. Que moi, mon... On parle mal de mon, de mon pays. Oh, nous avons tout ici. This garage is not far from the road turned to trap. They are here to bring respite to drivers who fall into the net. Je suis entré dans un trou sur le tronçon Carrefour et Somba et mon beau deuxième. Le moyeu arrière, les coupettes sont quittées. Donc du coup, on est en train de démonter pour pouvoir remettre les garnitures avant de, avant de monter la roue. This patriarch seems not to fathom the gymnastics played by public authorities along this road. He tells me survey experts were spotted few months back positioning these signals as though works were imminent. All their hopes for any repairs had been dashed. Individual and collective disappointments on the state of this road infrastructure have reached unbearable levels. The people just want the powers that be to get past shamelessness and right the wrongs. Roads are vectors of development. If their persistent degradation without a corresponding rehabilitation means nothing to anyone, then the development dream is a mere lullaby in the ears of city dwellers.